Welcome to Illinois Corn TV News, where we feature this week's agriculture news for our Illinois corn farmers. The Illinois Corn Growers Association will celebrate 50 years of service to farmers on August 8, 2022 in Bloomington at the Double Tree Hotel. The Illinois Corn Growers Association was incorporated on July 30, 1971 by John Curry of Victoria, Housel Roberts of Altona, Roland Main of Altona, John Block of Gilson, and Donald Love of Galva. The group's first meeting was held at the Knox County Farm Bureau in Galesburg on February 18, in 1972. Since then, the Illinois Corn Growers has a long history of advocating for Illinois corn farmers on a myriad of issues. In the 70s, ICGA farmer leaders were focused on membership drives, building county corn organizations, considering an Illinois corn checkoff program, and understanding trade. Today, the conversations are more about infrastructure, such as locks and dams, ethanol policies, environmental regulations, pesticide registrations, and farm bill program development. The farmer leaders focus on environment and conservation practices more than they needed to in the 70s but they talked a lot about farm prices and interest rates in the 1980s. They talked about locks and dams in the 1990s. They talked about renewable fuel standards in the early 2000s. And they talked about crop insurance in the 2010s. What we know is that each and every year, ICGA farmer leaders gather together to discuss and resolve the issues that impact Illinois corn farmers. They trigger calls to action when needed, they invest their own time getting to Springfield and Washington to make sure farmer voices are part of the conversation. There's a lot to celebrate here, and the Illinois Corn Growers Association hopes that our membership will show up and celebrate with us. The ICGA anniversary celebration is August 8, 2022, at the Doubletree Hotel in Bloomington, Illinois. Cocktails are at 5 p.m. Dinner and the program are at 6 p.m. RSVP by July 25th to IL Corn at ILCorn.org. Brooke Appleton is the Vice President of Public Policy at the National Corn Growers Association, and in her recent article, she describes the issues she will be addressing at the upcoming Corn Congress, which will be held in July. This upcoming Corn Congress will be held in our nation's capital July 11th through 14th. It provides us an opportunity to take passionate and deeply knowledgeable corn grower leaders to Capitol Hill in mass and get them in front of some of Washington's key decision makers. We will be discussing biofuel issues, such as asking lawmakers to co-sponsor the Next Generation Fuels Act, which paves the way to higher ethanol blends in America's fuel supply. And as the International Trade Commission debates duties on nitrogen fertilizers, and the Environmental Protection Agency considers restrictions on atrazine, corn grower leaders will be talking about how critical it is that farmers have access to the tools necessary to continue to do more with less. You can read Appleton's entire article at ilcorn.org to learn more. And finally, the USDA released its 13th crop progress report Monday afternoon on June 26th 4% of corn is silking compared with 4% for the previous five-year average. The condition of the corn crop was rated 67%, good to excellent, and 8% poor or very poor. You've been listening to this week's Illinois Corn TV for Agriculture News Summary. For more Illinois corn news, visit our website at ilcorn.org or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more weekly news. Next week, we'll talk about the international groups the Illinois Corn Growers Association will be hosting in the near future. Have a great week.